good morning everyone and happy Thursday yes I'm on today with my new baby girl yes I'm gonna dress her today I wanted to dress her for theme Thursday and the theme for today is under the sea and under the sea and the color blue yes um I was going through her little wardrobe because I had nested for her very, very little, not much stuff I had picked up for her. Um, and I don't have anything that I think is theme Thursday appropriate for her. So therefore I decided to just, um, just dress her in something that, um, something simple really. So first of all, I wanted to show the little blanket that she is laying on. It's, um... This blanket actually belonged to my daughter. You know, my daughter is 12 years old today. So I've had this blanket for over 12 years. She's almost 13. She'll be 13 uh, in the month of May coming. Yeah, this is the strawberry shortcake blanket. And um, it's pretty special to me. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, lay my new little one back on it <laughs> yeah so this is my um new baby girl she is the ellie sue by bonnie brown and i'm still in awe of her i must say this is a gorgeous sculpt it truly is and you know i stay at her all day because i mentioned before that i had I mentioned before that the expression on her face is a little uh, joke that I have that she's upset with mommy because I had she was really supposed to be reborn like two years ago and I kept having Miss Beverly uh, reborn other sculpts ahead of her so that's the little joke yeah but um looking at her now I'm so like I mean I'm so happy she's here now but you know I I sort of regret that I had all those other sculpts reborn ahead of her because this is such a gorgeous sculpt let me tell you guys this is such a gorgeous gorgeous sculpt all right so let me go ahead and show you what she's going to wear I'm going to change her pampers and I'm going to try this newborn size on her See if that fits I'm pretty sure she's wearing a size one that Miss Beverly yeah because I did you know actually what I had done I had reweighted her because I wanted her to be a little bit more flex flexible than what she was so I did reweigh her so I'm pretty sure I did see the that the pampas is a size one and I did pass her air as you guys can see yeah she's wearing a CZ set in sterling silver uh, in sterling silver and I did add her little um, bracelet mm -hmm. I also pairs Denali's air yeah I have but I'll talk about that when I dress Denali all right so um, okay yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and change her out of this pampers just to see you know how see this is the fun thing about when you get a new baby you try different things just so that you'll be more familiar with you know what size the babies wear or whether you prefer a certain size over another size yeah all right so um let me go ahead too and show you what she's going to wear just something simple like i said she's going to wear this um pink it's a long sleeve pink onesie yeah says little sister and the writing is in the color navy blue gold and white yeah so she's going to wear that and the onesie is pink it's a long sleeve onesie and it's also in the size newborn yeah so she's going to wear that and she might be wearing this pink Carter socks or maybe this pink and white socks yeah i'll decide between the two uh at the last minute when i'm about to dress her in the socks 
Okay. The socks fell on the floor. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and um, and change your pampas. Yeah, so um, I've been enjoying my two new babies. And this is the newest in my collection because uh, Denali came a few days before. Uh, oh, you know, I need to also announce her name. Yes, I did decide on her name. So I'm going to do that in this video. So I've decided to give her the name. Um, well, there was another name I was considering and I decided not to go with that name. I would have given her the name if her eyes was a little bit lighter blue but seeing that it's more on the dark side I decided to um, not go with that name I might save that for another baby maybe in the future all right so um, her name is Denea Divine yes so sometimes I'll be calling her Denea for short and actually I had given her this name the name Denea was given to her almost two years ago yes and um every time i see this scope the name denae comes to mind yes so she had that name for a long time and then when i decided to give her blue eyes then i had thought about changing her second name yeah, but the eyes, like I said, it's blue, but it's a little bit on the darker side. You won't notice it unless she's, like, the lights are directly shining on her eyes. Uh, so, therefore, I, you know, decided to just stick with Divine as her second name. Yes, which is a beautiful name for her because she is Divine. Yes. Let me tell you, I'm I'm just loving her sculpt, like the expression in her in her hands, and also her legs. Cause her legs are you know curled. You know she she curls up pretty good. Plus she have these cute little feet. <laughs> very very expressive sculpt, and also her facial expression. Yes. All right, so. Let me see. I think I'm going to go with all pink, actually. Yeah, she's going to do the... um, And this socks is in a size 0 to 3 months. Cardis. <coughs> all right. So, hubby is home today. And he's working on the outside. So, if you hear any noise, any banging, it's him on the outside doing some work. He's pretty determined to have this project completed by the month of June. We have an annual uh, function held where I live uh, the beginning of June every year. And um, he wants to have that completed during that time. All right. Yeah, so this is um, Denea. <laughs> so I'll be calling her Denea. Uh, I'll be calling her Dee Dee. Yeah, those are names that I have in mind for her. You know, I like to um, give my babies names where at times, you know, I can give them little nicknames. So... DD for Denea Divine and also Denae. Just look how she curls up. She really curls up beautifully. Now, like I said, I had re uh, or re weighted her. I had re weighted her and I took out more of her polyfill because I wanted her to be more flexible and she is now and taking out some of the polyfill it made her, her body a little bit smaller 
which is fine you know because like I said I, I really wanted her to be more floppy I'm trying to get her bracelet <laughs> trying to fix her bracelet so she is my pretty girl in pink I didn't take out any uh, headband for her actually no I didn't didn't take out any headband for her but I am happy the fact that she's more of a newborn size because that's really what I wanted I wanted more of a newborn size uh, yeah, because I would like her to be able to share clothes with McQuell so that's what I, that's what I love the fact that um, that she can share clothes but I also want to mention that these babies are babies that I was already expecting for some time so they're really not new babies in the sense that um, I had just uh, planned to have them or I had just made arrangements to have these new babies these are babies that has been in the making for over a year and this little one actually uh, almost two years yeah so um, and I'm still expecting one more baby yeah I still have one more baby to come by Miss Beverly now the thing is that one is gonna take some time because I've decided not to continue with that particular sculpt and the reason being that particular sculpt is a bigger baby she's a standing 23 inch and you know after when I had yeah like I said that one was when I purchased that sculpt that was maybe that was two years ago yeah and that was before I had any of the masterpiece dolls now I've decided I don't I really don't want to do another standing doll so I'm gonna that one that particular sculpt is up for sale it's the frizzy what's it fritzy It's the fritzy kit by Carola Regerich yeah beautiful sculpt I must say yeah but that sculpt um, or maybe uh, maybe I would probably focus if I do decide to have her reborn would probably be maybe next year yeah but Miss Beverly has one more baby for me so chances are I, I would look for a smaller uh, a smaller probably newborn size baby and um, yeah because I, I'm not ready for a or not at this time for another big baby that's like 23 inches no definitely not standing not after having my three masterpiece dolls no it, it's already a lot mentally just preparing to dress them that I don't want to add another standing not at this moment maybe later yes <laughs> so here's my baby girl let me tell you she uh, this baby girl is amazing and she is so poseable and flexible just look I don't know if you can see her eyes but her eyes no you have to really like um, you have to shine the light in her eyes to really see the blue yes but she is a gorgeous baby she is and this kit is amazing yes this kit is amazing beautiful Bonnie Brown she is excellent yeah she is an excellent sculptor I must say so that's it everyone so thank you all so much for watching and you have a super great day bye bye <laughs>